composing gloves here and today we're going to be checking out michael's harp just as a quick uh psa for the next two weeks there will be a giveaway on this this is the walkthrough video uh there will be one copy given away uh just leave a comment with why you would want this library what would you use it for and your favorite flavor of ice cream me personally i'm an orange sherbet with vanilla kind of guy but i also really love rocky road mint it's kind of hard to pick because ice cream is amazing if you're not an ice cream person, I want you to justify why you're not an ice cream person. And for some of you, it may be really easy, but I, I don't know. Some of you guys might have just these weird reasons. The winner will receive a copy. There'll be one copy up for grabs, and there will also be two 50% off coupons up for grabs as well. So be sure to leave a comment. Let's jump into the walkthrough now. So here we have a basically a ready-to-go harp right out of the box. We have our mic positions, which are sort of the main thing where you'll be touching when you use it. So let's go ahead, let's check those out. Let's, uh, with the mix though, I'm gonna leave the DI out of it for now, just cause uh, the DI is sort of a, it's got a, a certain kind of sound to it that I think will be less used. I think you'll use the close in the room mic more. But let's just play some low notes. So there's your low notes. Let's play some of the mid-range, or I guess it's still kind of low. We'll go up a little bit higher. And higher. And that's around, that's the limit. <laughs> Beautiful. So let's come down. This is the range I'm going to be using for most things. Now let's go ahead and turn off the room. And you can turn on and off the mic samples to save on resources, a bit easier on the computer. So here we have the close mic. Let's just turn that up and give a listen to that. All right, now let's go for the room mic. And then finally, let me show you the DI. So it's got sort of a thinness to it. It could be really useful in like special cases. Like I'm thinking like lo-fi hip hop or something. kind of a cool sound that's but it's probably one you'll use a little less often we also have the ability to pan these channels change the stereo width and add delay so some pretty cool things there if you're having timing issues or for example we could add some delays along the way on these three mics turn them all on now when we push one note you can create some sort of unique ways of some unique sounds here Maybe Nestor delays a bit closer, but you get the idea. It's a way to make it sound a lot bigger than it is. And also kind of like there's multiple players. We also have attack release, something I wish more libraries would include because it opens up the ability to do some pretty cool things. Pretty nice, pretty handy. Now, if we bring the attack down, we have round robin as a toggle option. So if I were to just play the same note, that is the same sound, the same sample over and over and over. If I turn on round robin, it'll cycle through various samples. I don't know if this is like a truly random round robin or if it's a cycle or what it is, but basically it puts some more samples in there. So we get a much more natural sounding sound. which comes in handy for some of the key switch options we have down here. So down here we have our key switches and I've been playing on, you know, your standard key switch. The next one is pretty useful if you want to do things like trills. It's where you hit a note, it triggers a note, but also when you let go, it also triggers the note. Like so. Am 
might be one of those things you turn on for like an intro or something and you turn it off after. Um, if, the, if the low note's handy, you could quickly press this one and sort of switch between them. The last one, I don't know technically what it does, but I think it's the release samples. That's what it sounds like to me. That's a strange one. Which to me is cool to be able to get at sounds like this. You can really create a unique sounding thing um, by mixing that into a track, that's for sure. And that's pretty much it. It's a very much out of the box, ready to go. Now, something else uh, that I'm going to mention here real quick. When you want to change presets, let's say you want to fiddle through the presets, but you want to see like the whole menu, you do not click on the box with the name of the preset. I kept doing this out of habit. You have to click on the actual word and it pops up. And then you're able to select your preset. Once you're in this menu and you want to leave this menu, you need to actually click on instruments if you don't want to change anything. But of course, you can load presets, check them out. There's a couple uh, pretty interesting ones in here. We have big and wide. Which just adds essentially a delay. Very nice presets. And that's that. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.